That would-be burglar showed up to a house here on Finley Avenue determined to get in, not knowing that the family cat would be determined to keep him out. But I was shocked the first time he started growling. For our own protection, Cynthia Coots kept her cat named Binky in her arms during our interview. Binky ended up saving the day when a noise in the backyard near the garage got the attention of her owner sometime around midnight. So I go out and I check the garage over and didn't see nothing, so I shut the light out and locked the garage. Minutes later, a man started banging on Cynthia's front patio window, trying to convince her to let him in. I mean, he was beating and kicking, trying to tell me there were uh, men out to shoot him, kill him. He said, you got to let me in. Cynthia refused, and she says the man decided the window was his next move, a move that cost him dearly. Next thing I knew, his hand went through that thing, and then next thing I knew, Binky went after him. Binky launched another attack when he tried a second time to get in. Binky blew it up like a balloon and got him again. Metro police arrived and arrested Earl Scruggs for vandalism and residential entry. Officers had to call paramedics to treat the 41-year-old for his wounds from Binky. He ain't got no claws. He can only bite. And he has got some pretty sharp fangs. What? It's all right. At first, even Scruggs had a hard time convincing police officers that a cat was responsible for his injuries. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.